In the 1950s, a new form of mass media was emerging. Television allowed for a new perspective of storytelling, and this new perspective dramatically impacted the crusade against lynching, starting in August 1955 with the killing of 14-year-old Emmett Till. This is the muddy backwoods Tallahatchie River, where a weighted body was found, alleged to be that of young Emmett Till. I saw a hole, which I presumed was a bullet hole, and I could look through that hole and see daylight on the other side. And I wondered, was it necessary to shoot it? This was the home of Mose Wright. It was from this shack, the state alleges Emma Till was taken by Roy Bryant and J.W. Milam. The house was as dark as a thousand midnights. You couldn't see. It was like a nightmare. I mean, it's, I mean, someone come and stand over you with a pistol in one hand, a flashlight, and you're 16 years old. Uh, this is a terrifying experience. The Till case held the whole system up for inspection by the rest of the country and by the rest of the world. It was the beginning of the focusing on the problems uh, between the races in the Deep South that culminated in the ultimate uh, civil rights battles of the, of, of the rest of the 50s and, and, and into the 60s. Just as Ida Wells' style of fact-checked, objective newspaper reporting opened the nation's eyes to the brutality of lynching some half-century earlier, the images of Till's open casket funeral sparked outrage across the country. Civil rights issues in the South became a made-for-TV story, and it paved the way for the coverage of civil rights movements for the next 20 years.